Right now, Pittsburgh's best sports show is about to begin. Call us or tweet us. We've got things to talk about on the Ireland Contracting Nightly Sports Call. All right, thanks a lot, Susan, and thank you for tuning in to the Ireland Contracting Nightly Sports Call. Rich Walsh, give me a call tonight, 412-575-2600. Paul Zeiss is sitting right next to me. We're going to be talking about the Buccos I just got back from Bradenton yesterday, back here today, ready to talk about the Pirates and how optimistic I am about this team this year. Um, there is a lot of internal optimism, and you'll hear that from everyone inside that Pirates locker room, some external uh, frustrations for sure. Uh, but, you know, I, Paul, I know you might disagree with me here, and that's why I'm going to start and just get right to it. I, I, like, I, 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 like, I can see why the Pirates like this team. If you're not looking at payroll, I can see why they're high on Eric Gonzalez and um, the situation in right field, having a former first-round pick out playing in right field until Polanco gets back. I could see how they like the top four pitchers, and maybe you, maybe you, maybe you win on a Jordan Lyles uh, as your fifth starter. But I also can see the other side where, you know, you got pitchers out there that could help you as a fifth starter, and maybe you could spend some more money because you're getting deals right now. But um, I, I still think this is – I potentially think this is a 80 to 85 win team this year, and that – 85 wins could make you, could get you into a wild card. I don't think they're much more than a wild card. They're, you know, Clint Hurdle's talking about winning the division to me. This is what I don't like. I don't like their spin um, when they say they're going to be competitive and win a World Series. I, I wish they'd be more truthful in the fact that, hey, we're trying to compete for a wild card. We got a young team. They're up for arbitration. Salary's going to go up next year, and but we think we're going to be competitive. I, I'm going to take it for the word that they think they're going to be competitive, and I'm going to hold them to it because I talked to Nutting the other day. We did a one-on-one -on -one interview with him, and I did an another interview with Neil and one with Hurdle, and all saying the same thing. So, you know, if it comes September and they're not competitive and, or they are competitive and they're not spending money to try to even be more competitive, I'm going to replay these sound bites. Um, I, again, I, you said to, uh, say they're 80 to 85 win team. I mean, I think that probably is where they're at, 80 to 83, 84 wins. But guess what? That's not a good enough for a wild card. So You don't think 85 no, can get you in a wild no, card? No, I don't. I think, I think you're in a division where you had three teams. that the, the, the St. Louis last year won, what, 87, 88? And, they, and they're better. You know, the other two teams won 90. You're in a division where you've got to almost win 90, 90 games to, to finish in third. That's, your, that's, your pitching staff is better. That's my problem. I do really like this pitching staff. It could be better, but is Trevor Williams going to be, you know, do what he did in the we second half? We don't know half? that. That's the He's problem. He's not going to do what he did in the second half last year. You, you, you look at that. I think Chris Archer is what he is. He's going to have times when he looks so dominant. He'll have other times when he doesn't look so good. Tyon is really good. I mean, obviously, he's the one guy I think you really – you don't know what you're going to get from Joe Musgrove. He's, he, he I think he's be a wild card. I mean, he's right a now. wild card. And, you know, you look at their defense, it's still bad. I mean, they're – Well, uh, let me stop you right there real quick because this Eric Gonzalez kid, he's the real deal. He's one of the best infielders I've ever seen um, out there in, in the majors, no matter where I've been, games. Okay. You know, I, he's fluid. It's just all one motion. I don't know if he can hit. And I can see why you stuck behind a guy like Lindor, but this guy, this guy is going to be really impressive if you get to see him. Well, that's great. Up close I, I, and that's wonderful. He could be Ozzy Smith. Colin Moran still stinks at third base. Josh Bell still stinks at first base. Colin Moran's probably and not going to play Fraser, third base. And Adam Fraser is okay at second base, average at best. Jung Ho Gung is average at best at yeah. third base. So you've got average. Probably a little below average with Fraser and below average at first base, but you got a good shortstop. So they're a bad defensive team and a, and a, and a pitching staff with a philosophy is pitch the contact and let your defense, you know. Now I know they do all the shifting and all that other stuff, and so that'll help some. But the bottom line is they're not a very good defensive team. I don't think they're I don't think they're a team that's blessed with a lot of team speed, and I think that's a, that's something if you're not going to hit the ball over the fence. So if Gung and and Bell don't hit you know home runs like they think they are. Where are these runs coming from? Do you think Bell is more of a, a rookie season kind of player or what he was last year or somewhere in between? I, mean, I think he can hit 20 home runs or 20 to 25 home runs. I, and I think he's an okay – I think he's not a bad hitter. But my point is, you know, teams started to figure out how to pitch him last year. You know, so if he doesn't hit all those – if he doesn't hit home runs and Gunn doesn't hit home runs and Polanco doesn't come back till June, where are the runs coming from? 
Yeah, Bell did tell me they're playing them a little bit different at uh, first base. They're moving them back a little bit. So uh, that might help with some, some of his defensive liabilities there. But, uh, you know, he's still – he's not a – natural first baseman so that's a big issue but I do think he'll get back to hitting better you know I think uh I think last year was just a, f- a frustrating year for him the sophomore slump type year I don't know if he'll hit 30 home runs uh, but if you can get around where he was as a rookie 26 that's going to help this club uh, but you know I'd like to talk more about the Pirates if you want to talk more about the Pirates I just got back from Bradenton got some insight 412-575-2600 is the number back in two minutes the Ireland Contracting Nightly Sports Call is brought to you by Ireland Contracting, celebrating 25 years as Pittsburgh's number one home exterior expert in roofing, siding, windows, and gutters, where honesty and integrity still matter. 